On the ABC television show Food Revolution, Chef Jamie Oliver did a show segment on beef. He gave his thoughts on what cuts of meat he thought were good and which ones he thought were bad. To illustrate his point, he introduces the audience to something he calls pink slime. How does he separate which is, is good for uh, consumption and which is not? Uh, I mean, does he know the biochemical makeup of those two different products? It didn't sound like it uh, in, in the clip. Uh, because he talks about how some lean beef is good for consumption and some sub is it based on what? Uh, you know, I didn't hear him explain that, and it's because there, there is no explanation for what he's saying. What the BPI process does is separate the lean meat from the fat. And it's, it's the same type of idea as ground beef. It's not an intact steak. It's not a, a New York strip on the plate. But it's really no different than the ground beef that you'd buy. To suggest to parents and children that we're essentially feeding our kids dog food is outrageous, and he should be called out on it. Jamie then moves on to the subject of ammonia and its use in beef processing. In his demonstration, he takes household cleaner and pours it on the beef. Well, well, he purports not to know percentages or how it works. He clearly demonstrates he doesn't know how it works. Um, for an intervention to be effective, it has to be dispersed at, at very precise levels. That's how it's approved as a processing aid. And it has to be evenly dispersed throughout the ground meat. And, you know, it doesn't involve a washing machine and a jug of ammonia, uh, ammonia cleaner that he's gotten out of the household cabinet. That's not how this works at all. And, you know, it, this is kind of one of those, it's all just scare tactics about what goes on. What he did in that video was, was use something that looked like household ammonia for cleaning, which is a completely different product than what we're talking about. I mean, we're talking about a, an ammonia gas, and it's a very small amount that's uh, applied to the product. So his show is not science, it's entertainment. Uh, and he got great entertainment value out of that, but it's very misleading. If the public is, is misinformed about science, technology, and food, and if the public turns away from some things that could help us advance our, our food system, uh, that in the future we will suffer because of that. To find out facts about the food you eat, check out these sites.